Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Google Summer of Code for the Jenkins Project office hours. Today is February 5th, and I would like to welcome everybody. My name is Marky. I am one of the org admins for the Google Summer of Code project, and uh, we meet weekly. This is our meeting. That is my intro. Uh, I have posted a link to the meeting notes in the Gitter channel, as well as in the chat for Zoom. Uh, I would uh, ask that everybody please go ahead and in the attendees for February 15th, please add your name to the list. And I will go ahead and, uh, oh, give me just a second here. Uh, I am going to start with action uh, open items from, uh, let's see here. Got a few items to take care of here. Um, I'm going to see what we had uh, action items for uh, from last meeting. And uh, as everybody is aware, and if you're not, I will share with you, the application uh, the ended, the application period, ended yesterday, well, technically this morning at uh, 12 a.m. We have submitted our application for status uh, with the Google Summer of Code. I will also share with everybody, uh, let me make sure I covered all of them. Give me just a second, get logged into something. So the deadline for the organization application was uh, actually is today, excuse me. So today at 11 p.m. TST, the organization announcements will be announced on February 20th. The student application period for projects is March 16th through March 31st. I want to touch on that uh, just a bit because we have a lot of questions that come into the Getter channel about uh, people wanting to start working on projects and, and things such as that. The, you can go ahead and look at the project and, and if you want to start trying it out, perfect. However, we have not assigned students to projects yet. We will not do that uh, until starting March 16th. So just as a time reference uh, indicator for everybody. And uh, there's that. Let me see if we have any other open items. Uh, Oleg is not here. He is traveling. Uh, Oleg, if you are watching this, uh, if you have an open item for the blog post copy editing, I believe that is still a work in progress. I have not seen the PR come through for that particular one. Uh, we did have the uh, open item for move uh, project ideas to accepted state. There are still a few more that need to be moved. Uh, we will be doing that this week. And uh, let's see. I know we have uh, a new application and that is, or excuse me, we have a new proposal and that is for Jenkins, uh, excuse me, for Jenkins X. I do not see that Kara is on the line and uh, she was the proposer of that. She's also uh, signed on as a potential mentor. So what we will be doing is making sure, I believe the PR was put in to add that to the project list. So there is that. I do not have any other organizational announcements. Uh, I will open up the floor to any of the students uh, on the call or any of the org admins on the call, if you have anything that you wanted to talk about. Anyone, and just know you may be on mute if you're trying to speak. Hello, yes, I was trying to unmute myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Oleg has put in, um, a pull request to have a third section in 
in the list of project ideas. Um, let me see. Um, just a minute. <clears throat> Well, he might have merged it. Let's look on the Jenkins IO website. Well, you are doing that. Yes. I am also looking at the Jenkins X uh, add-ons proposal. Uh, I see that uh, Oleg has approved it and I am going to merge it. So there's a new section in the project ideas. It's called, um, it's called ongoing discussion section. Okay, yep. And I do also see that Kara just joined. Yes. Hello, Hello. Kara. Welcome. I would, oh, I'm happy I, would, to be here. I would turn on my camera right now, but I'm so not going to scare everybody. That is not okay. Uh, so, Kara, we just went over uh, a couple of things in regards to timelines. Uh, the student application process starts March, starts March 16th and runs through March 31st. Uh, I know that you did put in a proposal. Uh, there are two uh, opposing uh, proposals, I think. There was some confusion. Both of those have now been merged. One of them I just did right now. Great, thank you. Very happy You're to welcome. hear that. Most welcome. So we will we'll go ahead and start working on that. I know I've also, uh, I volunteered to be a mentor on that project. I know the code base a little and, and uh, I think I could help uh, propose, uh, propose. I can't even talk, right? A possible student, to, should they come on there? Uh, right. Martin, you said that there was a, a new section that was added. Yes, the new section is called, um, wait a sec, ongoing projects that are under ongoing discussions. It's uh, listed at the bottom of the project ideas page. And um, these are for projects that, well, apparently don't have, don't have a formal sort of, don't have a formal pro idea, fully formed idea. They're more links to discussions for potential projects. And so I would suggest that the two plugins that don't have potential mentors yet, the Artifactory REST and the Jenkins REST, um, be moved down to those. Or we need to create maybe a new section because if there's no mentor or no potential mentor, it's wasting students' time if we, we discuss them on, on, uh, on the chat. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree with you on that. And I will take an action item to get the PR to move those to ongoing. So uh, can you just note, uh, let me see here. Oh, uh, are you going to are you going to add an, uh, a section in the notes that I will move those to the ongoing yes. project? Okay, yes, I'm, I can be the note taker today. Thank you very much. I forgot to say that at the beginning of the meeting. Okay, yep. Okay, that takes care of that. Does, uh, we've already covered some of the more uh, organizational level things, so I am going to open it back up to the, to the students. Does, uh, is there any students have any questions, comments, concerns? Okay, so, um, so like, uh, you've, uh, Maki, you've been a, a mentor last year also, right? And uh, I think even Martin has been. So, 
uh my question is basically that uh, you know at the end of it like after the deadline when you decide on students like you might have a uh you know a rough feel as to how you decide which is a good application like what are some of the kpis you are looking for in an application or something along those lines that you really think uh makes you choose a student uh well i can say that the first things that we look at is the student's aptitude or ability for a given project so if a project requires more code like base level knowledge we're going to look at that right what is the student's code ability we don't want to assign a student that uh you know has a python background and just barely un- beginning with java to a heavy java project because that's setting you up for failure so what we do is we do sort of an uh interview period where we get to know that this is outside of the bonding period what what we do is we get to know the student know what their ability is and then say okay this is this will be a right project for you and then assign them to that the second thing that we look for above that is the student's enthusiasm to do something if you're not excited about a project you're not going to want to spend 3 months working on something you're not excited about so we want to make sure that that level of enthusiasm is there now it doesn't mean i expect you to to go cheering and screaming and getting all crazy but it, it, what i more mean is that you have to really want to do what, what it is you're working on because uh i'll give some examples from prior year students uh, a lot of these projects if you make it through the full uh summer for the google summer of code and your project is completed and you pass it's a great reflection to potential employers to uh your peers it's a great reflection so we want to know that people really understand what they're doing and i can give an example of one student that i mentored last year who went on to get a really good job and it was because of their their google summer of code experience so we look for that level of enthusiasm hopefully that answered your question so, so i i can i can add a couple of things to um uh, i mean the, the students write proposals for the the projects the the project ideas are kind of basic and especially some of the ones that are more popular you kind of tell that that the students didn't give it much thought they came, they kind of came in at the last minute and they they wrote something real vague so if if i see a proposal where it it's obvious that um they gave a lot of thought to like the trade-offs and there's a well written proposal um then then definitely i'd be excited about that student um a lot of times students might spend a little bit of time actually prototyping something and i mean you know that's that's a lot a lot of risk if you may not get accepted but when when i see that they've actually written some code kind of a proof of concept thing i get really excited about that student okay um just to follow up uh, i uh, you said that uh, maki said that 16th march we assign project so i wasn't sure about, uh, i'm not sure like uh, how exactly uh, that process goes about uh, so, i feel like we have to choose a project uh, yeah so what hap- what happens is starting the 16th of march we have from the 16th of march to the 31st of march students will say i want to work on project a so we will reach out to that student and we will say okay you would like to work on a we have a mentor for that project we'd like to introduce you the mentor will then meet with you and if it's a, everything is a good fit then you get assigned to that particular project that happens between the 16th and the 31st so if you for example is it is it set in uh it's per- sumit oh uh, yeah so sumit, su- sumit i apologize okay. No, no, so, no. so for example, if you have a project that you think, "Hey, I'd like to work on this," then we will say during that time frame, with March 16th to the 31st, we'll say, "Okay, you've shown interest in this project. We'd like to introduce you to the mentor. The mentor will then get to meet you, and then we, as org admins, will meet with the mentor, and the mentor will say, 'Yes, Sumit is perfect for this project.' Then we'll say, 'Okay, if you're good, we'll assign to this project.' That's how it works." okay so basically like uh, before 31st only in a kind of way like 
pretty much just made a decision or something along those lines. That is correct. Okay. Thanks. That answers uh, my question. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Does anybody else have any other questions? Any comments, any concerns? Okay, well, with that, if nobody has anything else, that really concludes this meeting. I will just kindly close with a, an overview of how this works outside of the timelines. Uh, so what happens after the, uh, after the Google, after the student application period, we then do application review periods. The application review period is where the organization reviews and selects the students. And that goes from March 31st to April 27th. On April 27th is when we announce the student projects. And that's where accepted students are paired with mentors and they start planning on their project and milestones. From April 27th to May 18th is the community bonding phase. This is where the students spend a month learning more about the organization's community. Coding starts on May 18th and runs through August 10th. The evaluations for uh, first evaluations is from June 15th through the 19th. The second evaluation is July 13th through the 17th. Between August 10th and August 17th is when students submit their final code. Uh, excuse me, they submit their code in their final evaluations. And then from August 17th to August 24th is when mentors submit their final evaluations. And finally, on August 25th is when the results are announced. I will kind of cover just a little briefly how the evaluation periods go. Generally, what we will do is we will have a Jenkins online meetup and the student will present their project. There's usually a slides, a small demo, and your mentors will work with you on getting that prepared and, and what the criteria looks like for that. Based on any of that timeline that I've just described, are there any questions? I went through it rather fast, I know, and, and if you have any questions and you don't feel comfortable asking here, the, you have the ability to ask in the Google Summer of Code Gitter channel. If you don't feel comfortable asking in there and you're still trying to figure this out, please do reach out to one of the org admins directly. That's myself, Martin, Jeff, Oleg. And if there's any questions, you know, again, don't, don't hesitate to reach out. The idea for this project is to be, make it very empathetic and very collaborative. So we want to make the students, uh, potential students, we want to make you successful. So we'll do all that we can to help. And uh, if no one has anything else, that's all I have for my long tirade. Um, yes, I have one item, Marky, that I just mm -hmm. remembered. Yes. Um, we talked about um, adding uh, um, adding Kara as an org admin. Is this something we want to discuss in this meeting, or do we want to talk about it offline? Uh, I don't think we should do it in this meeting. Now that is, I, I don't I don't think we should do it in this meeting. I think we should do it in an org uh, in an org admin meeting. Uh, I know that I will say that I'm a plus one for that, and I think uh, others are, but I don't want to speak for anyone. Okay. Let's just discuss it somewhere else then. Do any of the potential students have any other questions, comments, concerns? All righty, if there is nothing else, I. I bid everyone a, a farewell and a great day, evening, night, wherever you are. And uh, again, if you need anything, please do, do not hesitate to reach out to us in the Getter channel. And I thank you. Bye. Thank you very Bye. much, Marky. You're welcome. Bye. See everybody online.